Hey Dreamweavers, it's me Keisha here at the Enchanted Dreamcatcher. Welcome back to a, another video. So in this video, my hair is going to be a mess because I've just been filming some videos and getting all hot and sweaty. But yeah, so this video I just wanted to sort of have a quick talk about everything that's going on right now in the world. Um, as I am filming this, uh, we are in the midst of a awful pandemic and the COVID-19 and it's global and in our lifetime we've never ever experienced anything that's had this sort of global impact where so many people are dying from this illness, um, it's spreading so quickly, there's no vaccine at the moment countries all around the world are on lockdown I am in the UK we're on a um, lockdown now all non-essential businesses are closed so like movie theatres uh, stores apart from supermarkets restaurants bars uh, sporting events everything you can think of is closed down we've been told to stay home so I know in the US, in a lot of states in the US, is a similar sort of thing. Been told to stay home, to only go out if it's absolutely necessary for work that can't be done from home. Uh, like exercise once a day and to get essential like medicines or food shopping. So it's a really crazy, surreal time. I mean, I'm home from work now. I finished work a week ago. Um, fortunately in this country... We're very fortunate in that when the government announced lockdown, they also announced like um, government help for employees um, of the government will pay 80% of your wages. So obviously it's not the full amount, obviously you still be a little bit short, but that's really good. I mean, I'm on 80% pay now, um, which is good because it could have been a, a lot worse, like... If my if my company didn't want to pay out anything, if it, that I could have been had been home with no pay, so I'm extremely extremely grateful that I'm on nearly my full pay, and it feels it feels surreal, and I feel I feel blessed even in the midst of all this crazy and craziness and madness that I actually get to be home from work and still being paid and nearly my full pay and actually being able to work on things and do things that I love so being able to work on my YouTube channel and on my business and try and push things in the right direction so I feel very very fortunate in that respect but I know for a lot of people they aren't that fortunate they've really worry about bills and things like that because they're not getting paid and I'm just sending all the positive vibes your way I can because I really feel for you and I can only imagine how scary and stressful that sort of situation must be um but yeah I guess I guess I wanted to make this video just to sort of for um uh, just sort of like try and sort of see this sort of um the good things in the midst of the craziness and try and put a little positivity out there and also as well I can imagine how it is very it is a very overwhelming time a very anxious anxiety inducing time I felt overwhelmed and anxious just because we can't you can't do the things that you take for granted like you can't just I don't know you can't just hop in your car and go to the movies or if you fancy going shopping or you want to go out for dinner or any of those things like go to the gym like all the things you literally take for granted like all the time and we're just so used to just being able to do whatever we want like in a free world type thing and it's just so it's just such a surreal thing to to only be able to go to the grocery store like to be able to get food like you it's just it's just a really bizarre very very bizarre time um so i thought that i would do a quick video on some tips that i've personally found have been uh helpful to sort of help 
boosts my mood and help me sort of like feel a bit more positive in these uncertain times and feel a bit more I know a bit more happy and grateful and just to sort of and just finding the blessings and and yeah so uh my first tip is every day when you're getting up especially if you're either working from home or you're not you're not at work now for whatever reason is every day to get up and have a shower and get ready i've found that such a help and such a mood booster as well just to actually just make you feel more like refreshed and i find as well if you're sometimes like if you're just sort of slobbing around in your pajamas or whatever all day like it sometimes can make you feel it can really sort of bring a mood down and feel really sort of stagnant and things like that whereas i found like by actually making the effort and getting in the shower and the just sort of feeling that water like wash over me and stuff it helped us it helps to sort of clear that sort of stagnant energy and helps sort of feel refreshed and revitalized so you could also do some like a meditation in the shower or some sort of like mini ritual something where you just imagine the water purifying and cleansing you and washing away all the bad energy and the bad vibes and all the sort of negativity and you're sort of being refreshed and born anew sort of thing so yeah I definitely recommend um having a shower or a bath or whatever you prefer every day and just sort of getting ready and putting some clothes on it's super such a good thing to do uh number two which sort of follows on for number one for, for if you wear makeup like I found yesterday I was feeling particularly sort of a bit low and a bit bummed out and a bit like anxious. I put a full face of makeup on and I just, I don't know, it just literally instantly made me feel so much better. It was that taking that bit of self care and time. I just felt amazing afterwards. I just felt so much happy and more positive and I'm so glad that I actually made the effort that I actually put makeup on so sometimes like doing little things like that or like curling your hair or whatever it is that makes you feel good like taking that extra little bit of time I mean I know I wasn't going anywhere it wasn't like I was going on a date or I was like gonna watch a movie going to watch a movie or food or whatever I wasn't actually going out but it was just the whole sort of ritual of like putting on my makeup and just sort of just feeling nice and feeling fresh and just feeling good. So that's definitely another one I'd recommend is taking is taking the time to sort of get yourself glammed up and dolled up. I know you're not going anywhere. You've got a date with the sofa and Netflix. But just that whole ritual of doing everything and then looking yourself in the mirror and seeing yourself look nice and yeah it, it does it just instantly makes you feel better so i would definitely recommend doing that number three use this time that you have at home uh, when you're not working if you're working from home or if you're not to do something or learn to learn something new i am currently learning spanish like i've always wanted to learn Spanish I learned French in school but I've always wanted to learn Spanish and I actually did start learning Spanish before the lockdown so like beginning of January so I've been learning no beginning of January end of January beginning of February so I've been learning Spanish for a couple of months but I um I use an app called Duolingo it's a free app you'll be able to find that in your app store on Apple or like Play Store a Play Store for like Android or Samsung or whatever um, it's free app and there's loads and loads of different languages on there that you can you can learn everything from think from like Hebrew to like Hawaiian and it's really good yes yeah, so I've been learning Spanish so I every day either in the day or before I go to bed or whenever I always make sure I have it takes like five minutes or so just to do a quick lesson and it's surprising you building that up you're doing that every day how quick you use pick stuff up like my speaking of Spanish needs a bit of work but I find that I'm understanding it a lot quicker and a lot easier now that I've been like keeping up and doing a bit of Spanish every day and it's just something to sort of uh 
expand your mind boost your mood and also to give you something to do and some like something to, something positive to focus on and concentrate on and yeah so it doesn't have to be a language it could be anything if you've always wanted to learn how to I don't know crochet or how to I don't know bake pastries from scratch um or how to I don't know how to write a book or how to publish a blog or how to do anything how to learn photography or whatever it is I would definitely recommend using this time to broaden your horizons and further your skill set so number one two three yes four <laughs> had to think then so number four I would say to read read every day get back into reading like I love reading anyway but I mean novels or um uh, novels or non-fiction books or books on witchcraft or uh, positivity law of attraction manifesting anything that could be a physical book or on an e-reader or an ipad or an audio book it's just it's just really good it also it occupies your mind reading is so good for you like it can just it just makes you feel better it can take you take you away you can just sort of escape for a little while and as much as awesome as it is like just like binge watching like netflix shows or youtube or whatever like there's something like a, something magical about reading so i would definitely recommend so if you're at a loose end or whatever and you're feeling a bit down just sort of like I don't know, get in a comfy chair or get into bed, make yourself a nice drink, get all snuggly and warm and just read a good book. Number five, podcasts. I have recently quite gotten into podcasts. I found loads of really positive ones that I like. So when I am working out and doing exercise or when, I, when I'm doing my one exercise outside, a day when I'm walking or whatever I always just put on a podcast I like to listen to ones on witchcraft or law of attraction manifesting like positivity like find like there's so many like youtubers and authors and celebrities that have jumped on the podcast bandwagon and there's some really really good stuff out there and obviously podcasts are free and you can if you have an iPhone you can use your podcast app or you can download on spotify and listen to podcasts on there and i'm sure there's other apps that you could use to listen to podcasts but i would definitely recommend that sometimes it gives you sort of like that inspiration and motivation that you need as well and also the good thing about podcasts is that you could have it on the background and multitask so you could be doing your exercise going for a walk you could be cooking dinner anything and yeah that's another thing that i found really helpful so i would definitely recommend podcasts number six is getting fresh air every day getting outside getting into nature you where you live may be on a lockdown as well but you'll be allowed out once a day for exercise so going on a walk i found breathing in fresh air and going on a walk and just sort of like help is really good really grounding just to reconnect with nature and just be out with the earth and just it's just it it really really helps you mentally physically spiritually emotionally so yeah so get try and get out in nature um, try and work out every day whether you're working out at home like in the house like if you're doing sort of like trying to adapt your gym your gym or workout sessions to your to fit in in your home environment which is what I'm going to start doing I'm going to start doing some of my gym workouts at home I mean you'd be surprised what you don't need equipment at home you could use your body weight you would be surprised what equipment you could use as equipment you could use tins you could use tins of beans as weights or bags of sugar or anything like just improvise and get your heart rate to going and just it will make it will release endorphins and make you feel so much better afterwards just because you're at home doesn't mean that you have to stop looking after yourself and looking after your health 
and number five number six <laughs> number six i would say as well it's important to look after your um eating like your diet and things like that like because you're at home and because you're out of routine it's so easy to just eat chocolate on junk all day which i'm not saying like don't ever do that because i i do that i was eating some maltesers the other day i'm just saying like don't get completely out of your routine like make sure you're drinking your water and make sure you're still having your vegetables and taking your vitamins and all that and still getting that varied varied diet i mean that will really help with your energy levels and your mood and things like that so that is another top tip that i recommend um also as well just writing like if you keep a journal then i'm, I'm sure of it it won't be anything like different for you or anything like that but especially if you if you don't like literally just any like notepad or anything like that or you could use an app on your phone you could record it on a voice note or however you want to do it just write down just keep a record of your feelings of how you're feeling what you're going through it really helps to sort of your mind to sort of process all this uncertainty and stuff and sometimes when you get it out on paper like a brain dump like you can just get it out on the paper and just forget about it and you just feel sometimes it can just help you feel so much better so I definitely recommend that so I think that's enough rambling from me but I hope some of these tips will help you to find the positive amidst the madness of everything that's going on and yeah I'm just sending you lots of love and blessings and I'm hoping that you're Matt you and your family your loved ones are managing to stay safe and healthy during this time and it will pass we will get through this we will be back to to some sort of normality again but in the meantime it doesn't need to be negative like we can use this time to our advantage I mean I know that I will be so until next time keep dreaming and stay enchanted